So many of you have uh, lots and lots of digital pictures, and today we're going to just talk a little bit about kind of the storage of these pictures and how we can organize them a little bit better. So we know that there are certain things out in the marketplace. There's lots of software applications that help us organize our pictures. So I guess kind of let's start here with the first the first alternative is to buy a software package, right? And so that's the first thing we can do, and it, it'll help organize and tag our pictures and things of that nature. But the problem is um, when you change that software application now, you've done a lot of work with that software application. It's no longer supported, and you've got to do something else. So that kind of kind of stinks. So let's go ahead and take a look at an alternative way to tag your pictures and be able to find the information. And the key here that we want to use, the key is we want to use the search engine. Okay, now most of you that are listening to this are using some sort of desktop application, excuse me, desktop operating system like, for example, uh, Windows. And so these all have search capabilities within them. And so we're going to use some primary key terms that will allow us to search over multiple directories. Remember, you want to be able to su search over multiple directories. So for example, here, if we take a look at 2005, for example, we've got lots of directories in here that have pictures. Now this could be all the pictures in one directory. I've just chosen to kind of separate it out here so that it makes it a little bit easier for me. But here, we want to use key terms, and the key terms that we're going to use here today are two of them, NP2 and port 2. So I wanted to just kind of explain this real quick uh, before we get... This stands for, <laughs> very simple, nice picture. So figure out how you want to do that, and then this, of course, stands for portrait. And then we're using the 2 here so that it's unique, so that when we search, we actually search for a, a criteria that is unique within, you know, we could find nice picture perhaps in one of our descriptions of our pictures. We don't want that because we want it to always pull up NP2. So let's see some of this in action. Now, once you have organized your pictures into directories, just like this, here I've got lots of pictures and, and they're labeled whatever they're labeled at this point, right? It doesn't really matter. And you can see the pictures themselves as I go down through the pictures. And, there, and this labeling doesn't really mean anything to me. So if I was searching for pictures, this happens to be one of my sons, Austin. If I was searching for a picture about Austin, I would have no idea where that picture is. I'd have to look through tens of thousands of pictures. And that's, that's not very efficient. So here, if I wanted to label Austin, all I would do is hit the F2 key on my keyboard, F2. So we're going to hit the F2 key on my keyboard, and I see here that it's Austin. So I'm going to type in Austin, and this is not a nice picture. This is the picture of Austin, but it's not a nice picture. Uh, I mean, it's a nice picture, but it's not something I would classify as a really nice picture. Um, and so uh, here I have Austin sitting there, and so I'm going to put a date inside here as well. And this happens to say November and December, so I'm just going to put in 11-2005. Now, that just tells me now that I can find, if I ever do a search for Austin, his picture will come up. Now, I hit the tab key, and if I hit the tab key, Notice that it's just going to take me to the next picture. And notice how it highlights the file name so I can change the file name. So this is McKay, for example. And we're going to classify this as a nice picture. So we're going to say NP2. And then again, we're going to put in the date, 2005. And so on and so forth. And you go down. There's another one of Austin. That's a crazy picture. So we're going to label that as a nice picture picture as well. And then as you can see, you can go down through the files and rename all of the pictures. Now one of the shortcuts that I take here, for example, this is Hunter. Now I'm not naming every single picture at this point, but one of the shortcuts I take is see the date there? I just highlight the date 
and then do a control C on my keyboard. So then now when I'm going down through my pictures and I find another picture that I want to classify as a nice picture, for example, let's say Hunter here, I'm going to put NP2 in, and then I'm just going to hit control V, and it's going to paste in that date. Now, one other thing here, what happens if you already have a picture? Well, if you're using a Windows operating system, it's going to come back to you and say, this file's already, do you want me to give it a 2? And just simply hit the Enter key or hit Yes. And then if you notice here, it's just going to put a 2 behind that picture. And I can go down through all of these pictures and however I want to label them inside of the environment. So remember, this is within a subdirectory on my computer. So now I have this so that I can search on it. We're going to go into searching here in just a second. Now I have finished labeling these pictures, all that I want to. Now often I'll label every single picture, but for this video I'm just making it quick. Now I'm, I've got another folder sitting over here, Christmas 2013. And what this is is a collection of all of the nice pictures throughout from 1999 to 2005 so far. So I'm kind of working my way up to 2013. But I want to get all of the nice pictures. If I just type in NP2, it's going to just come up with all of the nice pictures, every single one. So then I can just simply copy these pictures over into these folders because I'm going to make some uh, electronic books, um, excuse me, printed books from like Shutterfly uh, for the boys. So here we see we've got several MPT2s. Now let's say I had a lot of MPTs. In fact, we'll go back to another one just as a final example. But here I've got Hunter MPTs. So I'm just going to do a copy of this picture and then I'm going to drop it over here into this folder because I want to use this. Now again, you may not be doing this type of exercise, but just to show you, we're using the search engine capabilities built within the operating system so that any computer you go to, this whole strategy of MP2 is going to work out perfectly. So let's just go to Hawaii, for example. I think I have lots of MPT2s in there, just as a final example. So here, we went through the labor of labeling each one of these pictures. So you see here, they're all labeled. Now notice they have multiple labels, right? So there's multiple people within this picture, and you can see all of the names within the picture, MPT2, and the date again on the side. So if we click on that one picture, we can see that and we can just kind of go down through and see all those pictures. But we want to find just, let's say, pictures of Maria. Okay, so we just do NPT2, and anywhere that Maria, my lovely bride, is in, her picture will show up inside of this. And I could just copy this and do whatever I need to do with that. So hopefully this has been helpful. Again, NP2 with the plus sign, and then we can go with Hunter, for example. But here, now you can see all of the MPT2 pictures for Hunter. So that's kind of how you use a search engine. Notice here it found 14 items. Let me go one other example. If I wanted to go back to 2005 and just search for nice pictures with Hunter in them from 2005, notice here instead of the 14 items, I have 59 items. So if you go down and look, you can see this is Kids and Cooper, all kids, so you can kind of see all of these pictures, uh, this one happens to be Hunter, spread out through 2005, all of the pictures that I've labeled as NPT2, nice pictures too, of Hunter. So that's a way uh, to organize your pictures inside of your directory on your computer.